Brandon, how do you feel about the idea of possibly going to a bowl game? And what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not like I've about the bowl yeah. game and anything. First, I'm you know, here for anything, here for anything here. about today. Oh, for anything about today. About today. But, but, go to David Eckert. Uh, I read it. So, so wondering, you know, order there, what what I can't really hear you that all that clear. Sorry, um, I'm, I'm just trying to ask you what, what sparked the turnaround for you guys after your tough first quarter. Oh, us just settling down and understanding what they were doing and understanding that there really really isn't much more that they can possibly do. And so after that, we just figured out what we're doing wrong and then just made those adjustments and then came out and capitalized like we did. And Jones? Brandon, when, when football is fun, hold on, I'm sorry, what does it sound like? When, when you're having fun playing football, what's going on? What, what's happening on the field that makes football fun? <laughs> uh, for me, football is at its finest point when I'm talking my whatever, whatever you want to put in that place uh, to the opposing team and getting in their head and basically just going out and playing free and not worrying about making a mistake and obviously balling out, as we like to call it. Evan Patrick. Hey, Brandon, thanks for your time. Um, was today some of the most fun you've had playing football then? I mean, you led the team in tackles, had three tackles for loss. What, what was going so well for you out there that allowed you to have that type of game? Uh, today definitely was fun. Um, we're just not really talking about me a lot, we're, but as a defense, we're just playing a lot more freer and not really worrying about making a mistake, to be honest. And that's not only what influenced me and my game, but what helped us out as a whole. David Eckert. Yes, sir. Brandon, what did you learn about? Uh, you yourself and this defense over the course of the season, you know, having the start that you did, trying to bounce them back and playing well over the last, you know, four years. From the start of the season, knowing that we had adversity into now, I can definitely say that we know for a fact that we can conquer anything that we put our minds to. Uh, we dealt with adversity in many ways from people being injured to just things not adding up in general. And then now looking at what we're able to do when we actually see want to want to do what we want to do, it's it's a beautiful thing, and I'm definitely confident next year, and definitely looking forward to it. We'll go to Parth next. Go ahead, Parth. You got me now. Yeah, Brandon, I don't know if you answered this already, but um, what specifically about you know, y'all's team allowed you to kind of go from 0 and 5 to, to not folding it and not packing it up and, you know, still having that resiliency to, to win four straight down the stretch here? It's, it's all just a mindset, to be honest with you. Um, we, we had that, we had a mindset to where, okay, we had a lot of momentum from last year. Uh, we, we, we're just feeling good about what's going on. And then we get hit in the mouth and then we kind of fell apart a little bit. And then we are like, okay, some things need to be changed. What do we need to change? And it was a process of finding it out. But then as we can all see, we figured out what we need to change on and off the field and just a little detail things. And then that's what we ended up changing. That's, that's what yeah, has us to this point. Yeah. Thomas Frank Carr. Hey, Brandon, I, I apologize. I don't want to phrase it this way, but this is the way I'm going to phrase it. Um, you seem to be recognizing things faster lately. Is that a fair thing to say? And, and what, if that's correct, has changed for you? That's definitely something that I've heard a lot, and I'm glad that you uh, pointed that out because I have. Uh, at first, beginning of the season, I was not really hesitant, but I just didn't want to make any mistakes, and that's what caused me to be hesitant. But now I know what to do. I've been in the system for a while. I know multiple different linebacker positions. 
I'm just now trying to have fun with it. I know what I need to do on the field, and I'm just not thinking. And that's what's led to the play and the actions that have been happening now. William Pegler. Hey, Brandon, was there a, um, you know, a specific, uh, specific play tonight where you guys managed to you know, bounce back to them after, after giving 20 points early, giving up on points early, and you know, pretty much shutting down everyone or the rest of the uh, You were going in and out a little bit. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, no worries. Was there, was there like a specific moment or a specific play where you guys picked up momentum tonight and, and bounced back from giving up 20 points and, and managed to really shut down Illinois the rest of the I don't really know if there was like a specific moment of play. We just knew that, okay, the way the game was going, that that can't that can't keep on going. So to be honest, we just did it on our own. Uh, Coach Pry, he kind of he was pissed. <laughs> he talked to us in the uh, in the huddle, and then after that, we just had a mindset like we're not being denied. If we want to make this tackle in the backfield, we're going we're going to do that. If we want to get a sack, we're going to do that. And that's what we came out and did. From there on out, go to Parth. Yeah, Brandon, you kind of talked about like uh, realizing what it took to turn things around when you were 0 and 5. But what, what were those times like where, you know, how do you kind of switch that mindset if that makes sense? Um, what are some of the specific things that y'all had to overcome, whether it be, you know, guys just being overly frustrated, guys arguing, whatever it may be during those times? It was not, it was a dark moment at that time, uh, just not knowing what exactly we needed to change as we were like growing to that point. We didn't know what we needed to change, so to say. Uh, we knew we were doing our, our assignments and everything the right way, but we just couldn't really figure out what it was. Uh, try to post something on social media, people getting backlash on five, on five, on five, this. Uh, that was annoying. And really, we're just basically saying enough is enough. You know, like the one kid that gets bullied, yeah, he has enough of it and just stands up to the bully. That's that's kind of like the mindset that we had that enough was enough and we're not going to take this anymore. Michael Poorman. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, Brandon, to follow that up, when you said you're trying to figure out what it was, did you ever figure out what it was? Um, that, that caused that losing streak? Really, it was just us and a uh, whole bunch of us were unfocused. We were too high on last year, the Cotton Bowl champions, and this we had a very strong season last year. And it was just on us of being immature as a defense and, and taking things for granted. That's all it was. Did two point? Did someone point that out to you, the leader? Or how did it have you turn that around? No, for for me, I sit back and I watch a lot of things unfold, and I don't really talk much and I analyze things, and that's that's what I seen. And then once we finally grew up as a defense and understood what we needed to do, and with that, whether it was on and off the field, we started seeing more success, and then we continue to do that to, up to this point now. Cool, thanks. And Curtis. Hey, Brandon, I apologize if you've been asked this already, but you guys are one or two Big Ten teams to play all nine of your originally scheduled games this season. Sacrifices um, you made to um, kind of get through a challenging season, COVID wise, mostly unscathed. Uh, you skipped out a little bit uh, towards the middle of it. Um, just like being one of two Big Ten teams to actually play all nine of your games. I mean, what does that say about the sacrifices you guys made? Not having uh, an off a week like we usually do, that was definitely big for us, not being able to go home if we wanted to as far as that. Uh, with COVID, we basically kind of have to like cocoon ourselves in our own little bubble as far as like what we do when we're not at the facility. And then just, um, just dealing with not having the same support system as far as like our 110,000 in Beaver Stadium and stuff like that, that kind of like really gets us a little bit. But, you know, that's not why we came into this game. That's not why we came into this profession. Uh, that's why we love the game for what it is. And 
with whatever, whatever the, but I can't talk right now. <laughs> but whether or not we have the fans or not, I mean, we just have to go out and play our game. Last question for Brandon for Michael Porter. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Brandon, the first game or two, I'm not sure you had a tackle. And tonight, man, you look like a three time All Pro. What was your, what was the transma- transformation this year like for you personally to go from that to, you know, your, the way you're playing these days? Really just me understanding where I want to be within the next two or one or two years. That's definitely the biggest thing for me as far as my mindset with that. I know that my responsibilities on the field has to be within the framework of the defense, but I also understand understand that I want to be able to take care of my family and, and make sure that everybody's everybody's fine. I want to see a smile on everybody's face. And that's really what my goal is 